and happy Thursday. It's your girl Shardell and we are preparing for an install today of all days. And I wanted to show you the hair I'm gonna be using for today. So I have received hair from Y Wig to pay the bag. And um, we're gonna open it up and see what's going on. So I, this client is getting 1B 16 inches. I received six bundles. Dropping things. Six bundles from this brand. So, of course, it comes in a uh, plastic bag and it has, you know, all the stuff you need to know on here. So, human hair, bulk hair, 16 inch, 1B. And I took the, one of them out already. The hair is nice and curly. So, of course, I'm going to prep this hair. I'm going to wet it really good with um, hot water and get it all set up for me to do the hair. They also sent some crochet tools and some of these. So, I'm gonna do this install. I'm gonna to try to get some good close-ups for you guys. Um, you've been asking me some questions about close-ups, so I'm gonna to try to do my best with that. Thank you to Y Wigs for the hair, and we're gonna see how it goes, okay? So now I'm gonna prep. I have to work in about 30 minutes. So let's get let's get to it. Okay, so as I showed you guys previously in another video, I rinse out the bundles I'm gonna start with with hot water. Just really get them really wet to make sure that they are starting to elongate and to rinse them out just because. Sometimes hair, um, the hair may run. This hair did not run, so that's great, but other hair brands um, have run before, so I like to rinse, the, rinse them until that's done. I had all my twos together, and now we're starting the parting process. I like to part um, at least the foundation first because it just helps me first keep in mind um, how much I have left because that's when I'm getting to the close to the end um, the end I'm like yes praise the Lord but um I like to do that because that just gives me an order and also tells the client to where I am on their head and helps me make sure the sizes are very similar in all areas of the head so I'm just going to show you like I have before my method of install I really did like this hair this hair was easy to grab it was easy to add in and it meshed very well with her hair texture so I would definitely recommend you using this hair um because i i absolutely loved it but you know i braid some into the roots and then i twisted the rest of the way and um i did braid hers some of hers a little further than i normally do just to um hopefully keep it in longer um the braids hold a little bit better than the twist if you do it a little too early so you know just keep that in mind a little bit more of a braid is not gonna hurt nobody okay and i added one piece of hair to each section so um, I'm going to let you guys watch. I'll hop back on in a little bit and share some more of my tips and tricks.
As I finish each section, I hydrate it with some um, lemongrass water. I snip the ends just a little bit and then I twist it down. Um, I normally do the little knots, but I'm finding that at the end, obviously those bantu knots make the hair more curly and I'm having to spray it a little bit more to help it relax. So I think I'm gonna stick to the big twist cause that just gives it more of a natural flow at the end. This is the home front. When I get to them last few rows, I'm like, and the Lord said, amen. Yes, he did. And we are finishing up nice and well um, with this client. She was a joy to um, do her hair. The hair worked perfectly. And I actually used about maybe two and a half bundles for her head. So that's great. So you want to make sure when you are talking to someone <clears throat> about doing their micro lock extensions or even doing them, them yourself, you want to pay attention to their hair density and be mindful of how much hair you're adding to each one. Because if someone has fine hair, you don't want to add two pieces of hair to it necessarily. You want to make sure that you add enough that it complements the hair and meshes well and doesn't necessarily add more weight or add too much girth because long term that would end up being a little too heavy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed this client and I enjoyed this install and I really, really enjoyed using this hair. I will be probably purchasing some of this hair for myself in the future. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll see you guys in the next video.